Hi, let's continue with our SAT practice test. Here comes a quadratic equation problem. In the xy plane, the graph of the equation y minus x squared plus 9x minus 100 intersects the line y equals c at exactly one point. Here comes the question. What is the value of c? In this problem, we have two equations. Let's focus on the first one. That is y equals minus x squared plus 9x minus 100. This is a quadratic equation. And the general form of a quadratic equation is y equals a x squared plus b x plus c. Let's find the value of a, the coefficient of the quadratic term. In this case, we have a one over here. Therefore, the value of a is minus one. a equals negative one. Now we're going to find the graph of this quadratic equation. Never forget that the graph of a quadratic equation is a parabola. And don't worry about the exact location of the parabola. What really matters here is that the value of a is negative. Therefore, the parabola will open downward. Okay? And now let's focus on the second equation. That is y equals c. This is a constant function. And its graph is a horizontal line. For example, if c is located up here, this will be the line y equals c. And there are no intersection points between the parabola and the line. However, if c is located down here, this will be the line y equals c, and there are two intersection points between the parabola and the line. However, the problem tells us that there is exactly one point, one intersection point. How is that possible? Well, if c is located here, this will be the line y equals c, and there is only one intersection point between the parabola and the line. This is what we are looking for. Pay attention. This is the highest point of the parabola. This is the highest point of the parabola. Therefore, it's the vertex of the parabola. What are the coordinates of the vertex? Usually, for the x-coordinate, we use h. And then, the y-coordinate is c, c. And now, we're going to find the value of h with the formula, and then we will plug these two values into our equation to get the value of c. Let's start with h, the x-coordinate of the vertex. h is equal to minus b over 2a. The value of b is here. b is equal to 9. So we have minus 9 divided by 2 times a. And the value of a is minus 1. Negative divided by negative give us positive. And 9 divided by 2 give us 4.5. In the next step, we are going to replace the value of h. I'm going to change this value. Instead of h, we are going to write 4, 4.5. And now we will plug these two values into our function to get the value of c. To get the value of c. Instead of x, we are going to use 4.5. Instead of y, we are going to use c. We're going to replace y with c, y with c, and this is equal to minus x squared, but x is 4.5, 4.5, don't forget the exponent, plus 9 times x, x is 4.5, 4.5, minus 100, 100. Therefore, the value of c is, at this point, we should better use our calculator. So, give me a hand with this, please. We have minus, open parenthesis, 4.5 squared plus 9 times 4.5 minus 100. And this is equal to negative 79.75. Most of calculators have a button to convert decimals to fraction. I'm going to press that button in my calculator and we have negative 319 over 4. That's it. The choice C is the correct answer. If you don't have this button, don't worry about it. You can try with the choices. For example, here we have minus 481 divided by 4, and this is equal to minus 120.25. This is not our answer. Here we have minus 100. No, this is not our answer. Finally, here we have minus 319 divided by 4. That gives us minus 79.75. The choice C is the correct answer. That's all for today. We will continue with our SAT practice test in the following videos. See ya!